Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Costume Quest. In our last episode, we traveled to the Autumn Hills Mall in hopes of uh, rescuing our sister, Ren. Um, we also got the sweet Captain Starblazer costume, which gives us this neat old light-up lightsaber. Gets us through dark places. You can see we're... Still hot on the trail. sorted out with a victory, 1,000 experience, 50 candy, and another candy card. Hmm, looks like we've got some uh, fairly impressive opposition here. Dodging combat stamp is just invaluable. And that knocks Captain Starblazer out of the fight. Yeah, that was just a bad fight all the way around. Seems like I can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with three opponents. Not at all. At least losing isn't an outright game over. Get on my commands too. Ugh. One combat round took out Reynolds already.
I'm going to see the uh, same outcome this time around that we did last time. See how Reynolds does this, the Statue of Liberty. Naturally, this time they get the combat advantage, so it's probably not going to go well yet again. But we shall see. Fences up, hopefully, will be enough to get us through, but I'm really not seeing it be the case. we're just gonna have to try and avoid these guys. There's just no way we can win this fight right now. There's just nothing we can do. That's not very cool. Get attacked in the dark. Okay. In theory, maybe we can do this.
Meteor Avalanche. Okay, feeling a little bit better about myself. Thousand experience, fifty gold, and a candy fish head. Sound delicious, don't they? Hopefully, we won't get completely trounced in this battle. What are we fighting? Ugh. Okay. As long as it's not some of those bruisers, I think we'll be okay. Mayhaps not, though. out of the equation. That might make things a little easier. Experience 50 gold and some gingerbread ham. Now that sounds delicious. Alright, level up. That's what I like to see. I'll teach you not to steal candy. equation, hopefully. I really do enjoy the interactive portion of the combat, it's just a Truly, truly terrible at it. Because anything that, you know, is going to mimic a JRPG, they can do fairly well to kind of keep you engaged in the gameplay as opposed to just sit there and hammer one button constantly. So I'm not sure if, if any games actually did it prior to... Uh, the release of Final Fantasy VIII, but that was the first game that I had ever encountered that actually featured that. Um, unless possibly Super Mario RPG came out before Final Fantasy VIII, I'm not entirely sure on that. Because there was a lot of that in Super Mario RPG also. 
Very entertaining game. Got some sweet fat and something else. Couldn't quite catch it. But a uh, yeah, truly excellent game. Super Mario. Greetings. All of our gate operators are currently away at their or from their desks. These gates will open automatically when all stores in the mall have been emptied of candy. If you would like to leave a message, Drusilla the Witch, please press or say one. Listen, whoever you are, you don't want to eat my sister. My sister smells. She's annoying and her costume is embarrassing. In fact, I wish she had never been born. Sometimes. But she is my sister, and that means that she's mine to terrorize, not yours. So open up. Beep. To erase your message and re-record it... Oh, never mind. This is pointless. Let's get, have to go trick-or-treat our way through that thing. Are the police going to come and take care of these monsters? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kid. Your report has been logged. Click. Sorry, kids. The monorail transport system is down. Been down all night. Yeah, the monsters are probably messing it up. Oh no, ha, you kids think we're talking in case of gremlins. Trobogs, actually, but I don't but don't worry, we'll take care of them. Haha, <laughs> you kids. Well, if you do, I'll let you ride free all night. How about that? The Molo Rail is broken. Look, all the stores are open for trick-or-treating. I've never trick-or-treated in a mall before, this is awesome. My near mint cinnamon brain card is slightly off center. It makes my head hurt. I'd give anything for a mint version. You don't have one, do you? I wish I did. I'll let you know if I find something. I was trying to pretend that it's not it's not slightly crooked until then. Alright, so that is the mall of rail. Run over this save point real quick. Can never save too often. Break those pumpkins. Those are not breaking pumpkins. Trick or treat. Here's some candy and coupon for fifty percent off next visit. Yeah. Candy and savings. Uh, she doesn't give out love potions to charity cases. Trick or treat? This whole trick or treating at the mall was my idea. Is closed permanently. Okay, Mr. Traubog. See, I think the Grenadier is probably here the bigger threat, so we'll go after him. I don't know why they put them a level up on us yet again.
That dodge stamp has more than paid for itself. It's just good stuff all the way around. Twelve hundred experience, seventy-five gold, and candy pimples. Well, son of a gun. Hi there. Talk with the announcer in the bandstand if you'd like to enter the costume contest. Twenty pieces of candy. Looks like we've got some grubbins and a uh, fellow in the arcade. What's going on here? Uh, hi, I can't really talk right now. See those monsters over there? They're making us play these games and trade in all of our tickets for candy. I don't know why they need it so much. Hey, maybe you guys can distract them or something while we sneak out. Yeah, this is a real pain. Man, why didn't we come here instead of trick-or-treating? Hey, quit your yap yapping and get back to work before Mr. Bojan is gets mad. Okay, well, we'll be sorting that out in a second, I think. Oh, yeah, garbage candy. Hey, wait, I recognize these kids. I hate these kids. So we're fighting Bojan again. No megaphone. So we don't have to worry about the reinforcements too much. it up here. So that way my scrub play doesn't get him inadvertently killed. Twelve hundred and fifty experience, seventy-five candy, some licorice cable, and something else. I don't know what you'd beat them, Mr. Moon. I could if I wanted to, but in order to save the company money, I decided that we should run through this hole instead. Probably heading through straight for the mother load. Let's follow them. Someone left this one on one of the arcade machines. Maybe we can use it to make a costume. We got costume material of the scarf. I think that will be an acceptable spot to leave off for this episode of Costume Quest. 
If you've enjoyed the episode, be sure to press the like button down below, or share with your friends, add to your favorites, or subscribe to the channel. Um, you can leave any comments, questions, or critiques you have for me in the comments section. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can track me down on Facebook and Twitter at links located in the video's description. With that, this has been Costume Quest. I'm Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming. <laughs>